to install Java and Linux, we can either use the open version or we can also use the proprietary version from Oracle. This is the same version of Java that was created by Sun Microsystems and is commonly found on Windows boxes. In this case, we're going to go ahead and use the open version. For this demo, we're using the Ubuntu operating system and the bash command line. To start with, the commands to install the software require elevated privileges. So either use sudo before all of these commands or sudo and two elevated privileges at the start. We're going to choose the latter option. So we're going to sudo s into the root account. Now we're going to do apt-get install and since we're using the open version we're going to start with the open JRE prefix. If you don't get a list of choices for OpenJRE, you may have to update your packages. So we did an app get update to go out to the internet and download a list of available software for our package installation system aptitude. If you're using a Red Hat based system, notice that this is going to be the YUM program. So now we can see a list of packages that are available by typing in openj and then double tabbing. So notice that there's different versions of Java. Currently, there's eight and nine available to us. So we'll go ahead and install 8, which is going to work well with most software at this time. Now you notice that if you pick OpenJDK 8 and then double tab again, you'll get all the packages that start with version 8. And sometimes there's confusion between the JDK and the JRE, and then within the JRE, the difference between the JRE and the JRE headless. To start with, JDK or Java Development Kit is only needed if you're going to create Java software. If you're going to compile Java software, for example, if you're using Eclipse to develop software, you're going to need the OpenJDK. Another common reason is, is maybe you're going to use the Android Development Kit. If you're just going to run Java programs, you just need the JRE or the Java Runtime. So we'll start with that. Now the difference between the JRE and the JRE headless has to do with whether or not the Java programs you're going to run require graphical user interface. If these Java programs are just going to run on the command line, then you can use the JRE headless. But if you believe you're going to run software that's going to need graphics, then you need to install just the JRE. So, for example, if we're going to run Burp Suite, a GUI tool that runs on Java, then we're going to need the JRE. So we'll go ahead and do this installation. Other packages will be installed. So go ahead and install all of them at the same time. Most of the time the package manager will simply do this automatically. So now we have the Java runtime environment and we can run Java software. If we're going to do development though, we're going to need the JDK. And again, there's the JDK and the JDK headless, which has the exact same difference that we talked about earlier with the JRE. In our case, we're going to install the full JDK. So now we have both the Java Runtime Environment and the Java Development Kit installed within Ubuntu, and we can proceed with either developing or running Java applications.